Hello everyone, welcome to MIDA short video series. In this video, we will see how to perform buckling analysis in MIDA 7. So as we know, for the stability of structure, it is very important that we perform the buckling analysis for the steel section. And the buckling can be either local or global buckling. So for the demonstration, I have defined the material that is of steel material from the standard. And we are having section from the standard library, which is I kind of a section. Now here we will be considering the structure in the exit plane because we are performing the buckling analysis for the exit plane. We are not considering the wire and accordingly we will give the boundary condition. So I provide that and then we need to create the element for us. So I'm using this column wizard where I can quickly give the element length and the number of elements I'm having and I will click on add. So I'm having my five meter length for my column. Here I can select my material in edit section and I can click OK. So the elements are defined for us. Now we will give the boundary condition. So under the boundary we go define supports. So since we are replicating a pin connection, so at the bottom I am giving all the translation degree of freedom as restraint. And on the top we will give only DX as restraint since the column is free to roll in the Z direction. Now we need to give the axial loading for the buckling. So under the load we go and I will define a static load case first. And using nodal load we can apply the static load. So I am giving 1000 kN in the downward direction hence I have chosen the negative sign. And at the top node, we have applied this axial load. Now to perform the buckling analysis, we will go under the analysis and buckling. Here we can select the number of nodes of buckling that should be considered. So I'm choosing it as five. And here we will choose the load case that will be considered. So I'm using axial load and I click on add. Okay. And we simply perform the analysis. So once the analysis is performed, we can see the buckling mode shapes under the results here and buckling mode shapes. So the critical load factor for the first mode is shown over here that is around 18. So the axial load we have given of 1000 kN that should be multiplied with this critical load factor that is 18 that will be 18,000 kN and accordingly that will yield us to mode 1 buckling that is shown here. So if I want to see the second mode, I'll just select it from here. And this is the second mode. And for this, the factor is 60. We can check the multiple modes by clicking this multiple modes. I select the three modes and I place them vertically. So here you can see all the three modes in this manner. So in the third mode, we are having a factor as 102. So basically these critical factors are the factors to which the axial load that we have provided should be multiplied to have the buckling. So I hope this video was helpful for you. See you in the next.